Hey everyone, I'm Amber from Ottawa on Fox Street and there are a couple exciting things going on with this video. Um, the first is that this is the first time I've actually tried out my full lighting setup that I bought like at Christmas time. Um, and it's not perfect. I think maybe we need some lights in the background, um, but I'm, I'm happy with the way this looks compared to some of my my more recent videos um, that did not have great lighting, so I'm excited to be trying this out and see how it looks when I edit everything. Um, this is also my very first Project Pan update. It is midnight and I woke my birds up and they are being like little demons now, but we're just going to work with it. So this is an update for my 10 before July Project Pan, which was my very first Project Pan that I started um, when I learned about panning a couple months ago and I thought it was a really cool concept. I wanted to try it out, so I just want to give an update on a couple of projects that I've finished up as well as some that I'm still working on. Um, and I also want to uh, do a little intro to um, the palette that I chose for Pan That Palette this year. I finished up two lip balms, um, which is pretty cool because I don't think I've ever finished a lip balm in my whole life before I like lost it or threw it out. Uh, the first is this Celestial Seasonings Peppermint Lip Balm. This stuff is amazing. They actually make a whole line of these that you can only buy on the Celestial Season Seasonings website, but it's all based on like flavors of their tea, which I think is really cool. And um, yeah, I absolutely love this. It's organic, made with like really cool ingredients and essential oils and all that good stuff. And it has like, if you like that... Um, like tingly peppermint feeling in a lip balm. Um, this has that and I just found it really refreshing. It was very moisturizing. Um, this is made with sunflower oil and beeswax. So, you know, really moisturizing ingredients and I really, really like this. I would definitely repurchase this and I would definitely try the other flavors that they other have. Other lip balm that I finished up and I'll show you. Oh God, this one like fell apart. It's, it's... <laughs> That's how old this is. It's like in in pieces, but it is panned just like so you can see that I'm not like making up that I finished this. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean Moisturizing Lip Balm. Um, they make a whole line of these, of course. I'm sure you've seen them like everywhere um, in different flavors and things. Um, vanilla Bean is definitely one of my favorites and I would repurchase this thing well. that I managed to finish up um, for my 10 before July project pan is the sample that I had of the Indie Lee Rose Hip Cleanser. Love this stuff too, would definitely repurchase. Um, I really like the brands, I really like the way it made my skin feel. It was very hydrating um, but also very cleansing. I like to double cleanse so this made like a good um, a good cleanser after I use like micellar water or something like that. Um, so yeah, and I was really happy with that as well. So those are my empties. I'm excited because before I started panning and thinking about panning, I don't think I've ever had makeup empties like in my whole life. Um, I'm one of those people that's like, I hit pan for the first time and I'm really excited about it. But there are some things that I did not make as much progress on. Um, the first one is this Milani eyeshadow. So I talked about this in my makeup basket video earlier this week. It has, if you look, like a little divot in the middle. It came that way. That is the design of the eyeshadow. I did not do that, and I am making no progress on this. This is so tightly packed in here, and the problem is that it's... It's a white eyeshadow, and you can use white eyeshadow for a lot of things, but it is, like, intensely, intensely shimmery. Like, I don't know if I swatch it, if you can see just how like very shiny that is. Um, I thought about using it as a highlighter on the rest of my face and it doesn't blend well enough to do that. I'm having a lot of trouble with it. So I've just been using it on my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye and this thing is going to take forever. Um, if you have ideas of how to use this up or use it in other creative ways, please comment below because I'm feeling frustrated by this one. There's also the 
uh, Clara C sea salt solution scrub. This would have been really easy to use up except I have not touched this once since I started. There's still like a third of the container in here. It's about to like there. Um, this is good stuff. I just am kind of obsessed with my Pacifica Walnut Scrub right now. And when I need to exfoliate, that's kind of my go-to. Um, so I really just need to pull this out and use it up. I just keep kind of forgetting about it, but it won't take long once I start using it. My Milani lipstick doesn't have a ton of progress, but I am wearing it now. I have been wearing this every day for like the last week, so it is getting use. Um, again, not a lot of progress. Uh, but there's also my Monsieur Big Lancome Travel Size Mascara. This is actually getting a lot of use because I use this um, at least every other time that I use mascara, if not, you know, multiple times in a row. Um, there's really no way for me to show you the progress on this, and it will probably dry up before I use it all. My goal is just to get as much out of this as possible, so I'm happy with the progress I'm making with this. And there's also the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser um, Primer. I love this stuff. I'm trying to use it up because it's older. It was a gift from a friend. And um, I wrote February on this. This was actually marked March 4th. Um, but that's where I'm at. It's, you know, over halfway. There's really not a lot to use up. So I'm confident that by the next update, I can probably use this up. And two other items. Um, I have my mini sample in Feisty of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. Someone in one of the panning groups that I'm in, this is such a beautiful color. This is, uh, this was an Ipsy sample and it's like a peachy color. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. But anyway, someone in one of the panning groups I'm in on Facebook actually panned one of these recently and I was like in awe because their Amazonian clay formula is so dense. Like I have been using this three or four times a week and the in, like the imprint is still on there. Like it's not even coming off and you have to like get in there with a brush. Um, I use this, um, this crown chisel blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush. This is their C141, I think, um, if you want one, because this is like an excellent blush brush. But this is like a dense, tough brush too, and I get in there and I like dig around and not a lot of progress, but um, I am still enjoying using it. I don't feel bored with it. I love the way it looks and I'm happy to keep using it. So not a big deal, just you know, to let you know that there's not a lot of progress there either. And then finally, I had a really old L'Oreal eyeshadow single. Um, it was kind of like a purpley gray color. It was um, something I had bought a few years ago and like thrown in the back of a drawer and forgot about. And I was going to try and pan it. And when I opened it and started like playing with it, I was like, oh, this is, the texture has changed and it's questionable. So... I ended up just throwing it out. I wasn't taking the chance of like getting an eye infection or something, especially while I'm pregnant. So um, I actually replaced that and I'm going to be panning, hopefully by July, this um, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Snake Bite, which is kind of like a golden, um, a golden metallic kind of brown color. Um, I have just started using these eyeshadows within the last couple months. I really love them. And people tell me they are not too hard to pan because they you use a lot of them when you're using them. Um, this color goes a lot, um, or goes well with the palette that I'm trying to pan for Pan That Palette, which I will show you here in a second. So I am confident that I can use this up or at least hit pan on it by July and be proud of the progress I've made with it. So there's that. Um, so that's the general idea of the progress I've made over the last uh, two months. I'm really pleased that I managed to use up three products um, just because I've never panned before and I have no real, um, real way of gauging how long it takes to use up certain kinds of products. So um, just to use up anything was really exciting um, for me. The 
palette that I want to use for pan that palette is the NYX warm neutrals palette and this has a lot of those warm like red and orange tones that are very very popular right now so you can see those kinds of whoop, those kinds of colors here um, there's a lot of browns but it's all very warm tones there are some that I use more than others I'm trying to get as many looks as possible out of this and learn to use some of the colors that I don't use as much. Um, I don't necessarily intend to use this whole palette up this year, although it would be very cool if I did. Uh, but this is one that I, I would like to hit pan on at least most of these and have some pan showing. And like I said, I think it goes nicely with like the metallic snake bite color um, from ColourPop. So I feel like a lot of these products in this particular project work well together and you'll probably see them um, in a lot of my week weekly makeup baskets or monthly makeup baskets, etc. So that's what I've been working Sorry on. Sorry if I sound winded. My asthma is getting really bad like this late in pregnancy. So just like talking sometimes makes me like huff and puff a little bit. But... I've since um, kind of become obsessed with panning and the panning groups on Facebook. So I actually have a couple other projects I'm going to be doing intro videos for over the next um, the next few weeks. I'm actually going to probably film them all tonight because I am like due to have this baby anytime now. Before you go, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon.